Western Kentucky at Indiana. Hey, everybody, Scott Spritzer here, Kelly Stewart there, and we're talking some Big Ten against Conference USA football and the Big Ten's Indiana Hoosiers. Off to this 2-0 start, playing not a lick of defense thus far, are going to be the host of this one. They're looking about a point and a half as we speak. Now, Western Kentucky, they're off to a 2-0 start also. They did it with defense one week, did it with offense the next. They're going to be missing their star running back, Leon Allen, who's going to miss the rest of the season, by the way, with that knee injury. But Kelly, the Hilltoppers, they're going to look to pick up the slack with a couple of running backs, including this guy, Furby, who weighs about 240 pounds. But this Indiana pass defense might be just what the doctor ordered for what Dowdy can do with that football, slinging it around for the Hilltoppers. I mean, we saw last week 590 yards of total offense, 441 came in the air. Mm -hmm. That is just <laughs> absurd numbers. This kid is a stud. Uh, I was on him two weeks in a row, so hopefully they can get it done for you this week. The only thing that does scare me is they are 0-4 against Big Ten opponents. Do you think that that's going to come into play here at all? I, I'm not so sure because I'm not real crazy about basically the last seven or eight teams at least in the Big Ten as far as I'm concerned with their, their strength. It's funny, I was doing a show in Big Ten country. Uh, this is back in like early August, and they asked me on the show to match up Big Ten perceived number one, SEC number one, and right down the line, number two, number oh, two, no. number three, number three, and do like a power rating type of thing. And when we talked about it, I said, you know, I go, I've got the SEC uh, favored in all but three matchups. I've got Ohio State favored over the perceived number one of the SEC. I've got Michigan State pick them with the perceived number two. And I had all the way down to the very end, I had uh, Vanderbilt pick them with Purdue at the time before the season began. So everything else was SEC. So my point is, is that I don't think the Big Ten is really as good as they looked in the bowls last season. I don't think they're as bad as a lot of people tend to say about the Big Ten, but they're not as good as everybody thought they were going to be when this season began. As far as this game, I mean, Dowdy, 47 for 68 thus far, 650 yards. He averages almost 10 yards per pass attempt, couple of the touchdowns, no picks. Went back and looked at the start of the 2014 season through this last game. He's got 51 touchdown passes, only 10 picks. He's a big boy, man. He's 6'3", he's 220. You can't bring him down. He's tough to bring down, and he sees over the line well. And here's what Indiana has done, or not done defensively. They've allowed 45 of 69 passing so far, 660 yards, six touchdown passes, only one pick, Kelly. I, I just think Dowdy, I, yeah, Dowdy is able to pick this defense apart at will. I think between the two game, the two teams, it's going to definitely be an over game myself. It just mm -hmm. looks like a big offensive showdown. I, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, you look at what the Indiana Hoosiers have done this year in week one. They hang on and beat Southern Illinois 48-47. Then they come out last week against FIU, Florida International. They won the game 36-22. Bit misleading on that final score. It was actually 29-22, less than five minutes to go in the game, about 3.58 to go. Florida International's inside the Indiana 10-yard line, a chance to tie it up, maybe even take the lead if they chose to go for two. And they throw that one pick that Indiana has all year. They threw it. Indiana goes 96 yards for a touchdown for that 14-point margin. So I'm going to make it official. I'm going to take the points, the one and a half with Western Kentucky over Indiana. Look for Western Kentucky to go in the, into Bloomington and shock the Big Ten opponent, win this game outright. And uh, by the way, you don't want to miss out on what's going on at Wager Talk from my service, Smash Mouth Sports, if I may pat myself on the back for a second. I like it. I've got my 5% tap out game of the month going this weekend in college football. It's a Saturday play. It's available right now. And folks, we just came off a big weekend sweep with our 5% plays in college and pro football. We had Stanford on Saturday, the Jets on Sunday. Check it out. 5% tap out game of the month. These plays, by the way, 81 and 61 with the last 142, about 57% winners. She's Kelly. I'm Scott. Stick around for more. We are Wager Talk TV.